What's up, everybody? I'm Jason, and welcome back to another short episode looking at some tips and tricks for the Canon EOS R5. So in the last video, I talked about the long exposure noise reduction and the, of the two kinds of noise reductions that are available in built into the camera. In this video, I want to talk about the other kind of noise reduction built into the camera, which is high ISO noise reduction. So if you're looking for this, it's on the shoot for menu page under high ISO speed NR or noise reduction. And you have four options available. They are low, standard, high, and multi-shot noise reduction. So let's go through, talk about a little bit about what these things do. So there's basically two methods that the camera can do for noise reduction. Low, standard, and high perform a, what I would call a standard noise reduction, uh, ISO noise reduction, or just noise reduction technique with increasing levels of strength. So what I mean by this is this is the standard blurring or adaptive blurring uh, of the image data that's being, that's done to, you know, remove high ISO noise. There's a number of techniques uh, that are actually possible that, that can be used, but broadly speaking, the, the end result is, is that you give up image detail for less noise or the appearance of less noise in your image. Now, low standard and high can be turned on when you're shooting both raw and JPEG or uh, images, or obviously if you're shooting in raw plus JPEG. When you're shooting in raw mode, the high ISO noise reduction does not actually alter the raw image. So what it does is, like most things the camera does with raw files, is it stores the level of noise reduction that you have set as metadata in your file. It will process the preview image, so you will see a preview image that has been processed, but the actual raw data in the file is unchanged. That way, when you take the image and you bring it into primarily digital photo professional, it will automatically, it'll look and see what level of noise reduction you've applied and it will automatically set noise reduction settings in digital photo professional that correspond to those levels. Now, of course, because it's just metadata, those settings can be changed after the fact in digital photo professional. So if it's too strong or not strong enough, you can go ahead and change it and render out new image, uh, a new final image from DPP. At the same time, like everything that is just metadata or most things that are just metadata for raw files, third-party software doesn't actually honor or process or deal with the noise reduction levels that are set in your, that are set in this metadata. So if you set your camera to say standard or high or whatever, and like me, you import your images into Lightroom, Lightroom completely ignores it and it applies the raw or the noise reduction that you've configured Lightroom to use. So either the standard noise reduction from Lightroom or ISO specific or camera specific noise reduction, if you've configured that to be the case. Now, for JPEGs and high efficiency image files, on the other hand, your noise or the noise reduction that's done in camera is baked into the image. So you do not have an option of reprocessing it after the fact if it's over overdone or over too strong or it blurs out details that you you don't want. So that's low standard and high. The other kind of multi of noise reduction is multi-shot noise reduction, and that is the fourth setting in the menu. Now, multi-shot noise reduction carries a number of, I guess you would call it limitations. Uh, there's a number of things that you have to be aware of going into it. So first of all, let's just talk limitations. No, Multi-shot noise reduction cannot be enabled if you're shooting in RAW or RAW plus JPEG. So it can only be enabled if you are shooting in JPEG or high efficiency uh, image files through the HDRPQ setting. Second of all, it cannot be enabled if you have long exposure noise reduction enabled. So these, these two options are, are not compatible. Uh, you can't switch or have both of them on at the same time. Whereas with the standard, uh, the low standard and high, 
that can be enabled with multi-shot noise reduction, or not multi-shot, uh, long exposure noise reduction as well. So what happens here with multi-shot noise reduction is that the image noise is reduced by a process of shooting and, ra and uh, rapidly shooting four images and then aligning and stacking them as a uh, single JPEG output. So I'm not exactly sure of the uh, stacking methodology that Canon's using. It's very clearly not mean stacking because it doesn't soften or blur out the image details. It's much closer in performance to median stacking. Um, however, it may be something that's a little bit more sophisticated than that because moving subjects can ghost in the multi-shot noise reduction mode, and that's not typical of uh, when you stack with median stacking. So it's it's something going on, but it's definitely a combination of, it's definitely done around shooting four images and stacking them. Now, Canon in the manual says that it provides better high ISO noise reduction than the standard options, the, the first three. Uh, obviously, this is partly going to be the case because instead of just blurring the image detail to reduce noise or averaging the image detail to reduce noise, it's taking multiple exposures, four in this case, and processing the, the image based on that. So there's basically four times as much signal because there's four exposures, and that's going to mean that there's going to be proportionally less noise because of the way signal and noise adds up in multiple ex with uh, stacking or combining of multiple exposures. Now there are some potential problems with this. Primarily, moving things can artifact between frames, and because it's a sequential thing, you know, sequential images being made, camera movement can cause alignment errors, which can cause even bigger problems. So it's very difficult to do this handheld, especially if you start getting into longer shutter speeds because you're naturally going to obviously move some between frames when you're shooting handheld. Uh, additionally, the flash does not fire when you're shooting with multi-shot noise reduction. Uh, the good news is that it does use the mechanical or first curtain electronic shutter, so it doesn't force the camera into the fully electronic shutter, which actually might have been beneficial or might be beneficial in some respects. Uh, it also doesn't appear to force the camera into continuous high plus, which would all, again degrade the frame rate available. Uh, in fact, this will work just fine if you have the camera set to fully mechanical and a fully mechanical shutter and um, one shot or, or single uh, shutter or single drive mode. You, you'll have to shoot four pictures. You, you'll have to shoot the shutter release four times, but it will actually do that. Um, and something to be aware of, multi-shot noise reduction is reset to standard noise reduction. When you turn the camera off, the battery or card doors are open or a card is changed. Uh, the camera is set to bulb or auto plus, or the format is changed from JPEG to raw or raw plus JPEG. So it will disappear. Uh, or reset to standard. In fact, it doesn't reset to off either. It resets to standard noise reduction. So um, let's talk recommendations briefly. And uh, basically my recommendation is this. So if you shoot raw, especially if you shoot raw and use a third party, something other than Digital Photo Professional to process your images, set long exposure noise reduction to off. The, the, the short of it is, is most third party image processing software that I'm aware of doesn't pay any attention to the metadata flag and essentially the processing that's being done to do the noise reduction for the preview image in camera, it's not a lot, but you will, since it's not messing with the raw data, it's not messing with your helping you in post-processing, uh, save the tiny little bit of power that that's going to save you and, you know, don't worry about it. Now, if you do use Digital Photo Professional, then, you know, my recommendation is maybe play with it because obviously, as I said, DPP will set noise reduction in uh, automatically based on your level of 
a high ISO noise reduction, so that it will automatically do some uh, do adjustments with that. So you may want to play with that a little bit. But broadly speaking, I shooting raw, I never have this enabled. I just leave it off. Now, if you're shooting JPEG, because of the way that this works, it is going to um, soften, blur out fine detail in your images and it's baked into the image out of the camera. So it's not like you have the option to change this after the fact. Because of that, my recommendation is that uh, maybe you don't want to use it at all. Uh, that certainly would be a valid approach to this. But if you do want to use uh, the high ISO noise reduction capabilities, my recommendation would be to stay at the low end of the range. So keep it set to low, keep the, the settings to low or standard. I don't know if I'd go to high. Um, Multi-shot noise reduction, if you shoot JPEG, is something that's, to me, it's less of a, a and the reason I'm not making a recommendation for or against multi-shot noise reduction is, to me, it's more of a special tool. It's the, a special tool that you use in certain circumstances like uh, where everything is largely static, where you're locked off on a tripod. It's not the kind of general purpose noise reduction that you would want to have maybe on a lot or use in many of your images or that can be just generally used in your images. So multi-shot noise reduction, if you shoot JPEG, is a tool to keep in your back pocket when you have to shoot at a higher ISO and you want a better uh, quality image, both lower noise, but not having as much of the degradation of image detail when most things are static and you're on a tripod, in which case that would be a good time to, to try it out. But I'd still, uh, even then, I would still shoot something without it and in low or uh, standard or with noise reduction turned off, the high ISO noise reduction turned off completely. So that is high ISO noise reduction on the EOS R5. If you found this useful or interesting or informative, please smash that like button. Also, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.